Look, man, I promise you, if you don't start getting on the up and up cycle as fast as possible, life is not going to be nice for you. Just fucking look around. Like, you know, you don't really see prime examples of success around you. Okay, so you don't like the place you live in, you don't like the money you're making, you don't like your body, you don't like your living situation, you don't like that you're not famous, you don't like that nobody's buying your shit, you don't like that you're not getting attention. Start moving up daily, consistently, massively. If you're not going to put in the work, dude, every single day, how do you expect to find yourself five years later with everything you've ever wanted and then of course wanting more you have to put in the work I've been in this fucking mentality so long in my life just looking for that lucky break I was like yeah I was willing to take any risk do any crazy thing do anything as long as I can find a short-term solution to get myself put on to find the shortcut to find the best way the secret way the fastest way but look you're not gonna have that unless you put in the work when you put in the work sometimes you do find opportunities which are incredible and you'll be ready to take advantage of them but if you've not put in the work if you've just been waiting and waiting and thinking and strategizing you're not gonna find you know you you're gonna see the opportunity you're gonna have to think about it and then somebody like me who doesn't think who just acts is gonna take it from you dude I'm also gonna be more primed to take it because I've done the work I have a really good friend who wants to be an actor I told him look dude you're gonna go to films to law to acting school for like three fucking years so what do you want to go to the auditions three years later as a nobody no, start building your audience now, okay? Go, go to these auditions three years later with like 10,000 fans already, even before you're an actor, just because they love you. And you can basically tell the guys at the audition, like, hey, look, I know I'm going to fill five fucking full theaters just by my audience. You know, that's the added benefit, okay? Do the work ahead of the opportunity. And when the opportunity comes up, you're going to have a chance to seize it. I've also had a chance today to look at some of the things I wrote in the last few years because I try to keep everything. And one problem that really, really repeated in my life was that before every major event, every major thing I've done, I've always had to think about it and think and think and think. I, I would literally walk across different rooms in different countries and different apartments in different uh, continents and just think like what's the plan what's the plan how do I do it what's the plan how do I make it happen maybe this maybe that no let's run the numbers what about this what? it was all theory but you don't get you know you get good brain from doing theory but you don't get good results from doing theory it's better to commit to something and even if that's like the wrong thing and even if, if you don't have any idea what you're doing it's better to take action and get some result than just to wait and, and think and wait for that perfect solution because look your life is not going to improve while you wait and think and, and you're not going to come up with the best solution okay uh, almost every single successful person and every single successful company started as one thing it just okay that sounds like a good idea let's go with it and then they just started and then they pivoted they just changed direction while moving you can't change your direction if you're standing fucking still and another major mistake trying when you do start you try too hard you try to to start with the intensity of an athlete okay I have a student of mine who I taught about the daily habits how to basically create his own version that supports his vision of life and all areas of, of his life and immediately on the first day the guy failed the guy couldn't be consistent even though he knew my don't be a bitch rule which is look dude you have to finish all your goals every single day you don't go to sleep until you do that's again that's a case of you know you, you're like okay I've, I've waited so much it took so long 
I wasted so much time, so, so let's go all out. But look, dude, you don't even get that privilege because you're not used to going all out. So you're going to have to build it up slowly. And this is coming from a fucking perfectionist, somebody who spent two whole years learning, you know, eat one apple a day, do 10 push-ups every day, 10-minute meditation. Yeah, I had to learn that shit because I was so stifled by my perfectionism. I couldn't do anything because it, it would either be all out or nothing at all. Now, once I mastered consistency, again, keyword, mastered consistency, then I started applying both. Then I started going massive and consistent. But I told you, if you, if, if whatever habits or actions you need to take, you can't be consistent on them seven days a week, no matter if you're sick, depressed, happy, sad, good things happen, bad things happen. If you can't be consistent seven days a week, you're done. You're just done. You're not gonna make it, sorry. You might make it a bit, but you're not gonna, you know, make it because it requires consistency. Consistency is the factor. Will Smith said, you can uh, be better than me, you can be faster than me, you can be stronger than me, you could be smarter than me, but you will never beat me on a treadmill. And the reason is that I will run until I'm dead. Okay, that's the exact mindset I have with habits. I will either do all of my habits or I'm dead. It's called comma death. I'm either in a coma or fucking dead. But there's no such thing as not doing my habits every single day. So you need to start small and build it up. Why would you start it small? Because you have no choice. Because starting big would mean you're going to fail even if it's uh, two weeks later from burning out and then you're going to lose that progress anyway, okay? Consistent action will create the results. Look at every single area of your life. What areas do I care about? Finance, relationships, spirituality, health, happiness, fame, money, whatever it is. Everything that you care about. You need to have at least one habit that creates an up movement okay because life goes up and then life goes down but me i always go up why do i always go up because when i'm happy i keep taking action improving everything creating growth when everything's going to shit i'm depressed i feel bad i'm sick i pull back on the throttle just like in a plane and i keep bumping up and it's harder it's tougher but at the end of the day I keep going up start doing that for yourself please please if you're not on the up cycle now look you're not gonna get to your dreams because most dreams they take like 10 15 20 30 40 50 60 years to accomplish you know, the bigger they are, the more compound interest you're going to have to build on your positive habits. You know, it, if you start investing $500 at age 22 at 8% interest rate per year and stop at 28, you'll be a millionaire by 65. Not that I'm saying it's a lot of money, but people like to use a million dollars as a lot of money example but how much time would it take you to invest with the same compound if instead of starting to invest at 22 you start to invest at 28 it will take you 40 years of putting $500 every month at 8% just to make up for the six years okay the compound interest the way it works it's like Den Pena. It's uh, that, like Den Pena says. It's like sex. The best part comes at the end. Okay, so start early. Enjoy the benefits later. Your life is shit anyway right now. Get a result from it at least. Plant the seeds so that next year or in the next three years or in the next five years, you'll be where you want to be. And from there, it's just up and up. 
but just complaining or bitching about it or thinking about it or being not consistent about it it's not going to move you anywhere dude it's going to get you more frustrated I'm serious and committed about my success. Are you?